Hey, Radians here. Let's add login with Twitter to a React app with Node.js backend. First, you'll go to the Twitter developer portal and choose OAuth 2. Redirect URLs require HTTPS, so if you want to test everything locally, you can use NROC tunnels. I didn't do it, but instead went straight to the production. Finally, you should set the website URL. Here I have the sign in with Twitter link to open the Twitter OAuth page. To construct this URL, I use the get Twitter OAuth URL function. It adds our app specific parameters to the Twitter authorized endpoint. Here we set the response type, take the Twitter client ID from environment variables, you can find it in the developer portal, a path redirect URI from arguments and set scopes. The state parameter is a random string you provide to verify against CSRF attacks. Then we have two PKCA parameters. You can read more on that if you want to provide an extra level of security, but Twitter OAuth will also work if you won't pay attention to them. For now, we can assign random string to the code challenge parameter. The get URL with query params helper will convert parameters to an URL encoded string and will attach it to the base URL. After the user finishes everything on the Twitter page, they will appear on the redirect URI. It's a page in our React app that will take care of finishing the authorization flow. My app also has other OAuth signing options, therefore first I'll take shared query parameters using the third query parameters function. It will get the query string from the Windows location and convert it to an object using query string to object util. The provider and destination parameters are specific to my app and I pass them as a part of the redirect URI. If you have only Twitter OAuth, you will extract only code and state parameters. After that, I query my Node.js GraphQL API to finish identification. If everything is alright, I should receive a GVT token with a response, save it to local search and I'm good to go. My backend is an Apollo server and here we have a query for signing with OAuth. First, we will validate the user with the getValidateUser function. It has a record with validators and one of them is validate with Twitter. Twitter provides a TypeScript SDK and we can take advantage of that. First, we initialize a client. It should have the same scopes we set on the front end. To set the code challenge, we need to call the generate auth URL method. It's a bit weird, but at the moment of recording, SDK doesn't provide any other ways to accomplish that. After that, we should be able to request auth token. To validate the user, we can call the findMyUser method, which returns information about the user. The huge caveat is that Twitter API 2 does not give access to user email. It's a bit crucial for my app, so most likely I will not use Twitter authorization until they add a way to get the user's email. Once I validate the user, I would use a generate or a data utility to create a GVT token and set it to the client. That's all. Stay productive.